Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dice Tower. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Sam Healy. Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to be taking a look at Imhotep the Duel. We're going to be playing through this. This is, of course, a two-player version of Imhotep from Thames and Cosmos. And uh, we've got it all set up right here, so we're going to go ahead and go to the board and check this out. So we have uh, several ships that have come into port, and we are going to be unloading their goods and using those goods to score victory points. We're going to be building pyramids, building a temple, and obelisk, and even even the tombs over here, we're going to use these people to do that with. So on uh, our turns, we'll be doing normally one of two things. We'll be deploying a person out to the uh, land region there in order to hopefully unload some goods and score those, or we'll be triggering the scoring of a line or a column in order to unload the matching ship there. But there have to be at least two people there in that line for us to score that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start. I'll explain a few other things as we are taking everything off the board, but we are ready to begin right now. And I'll just talk you through, through what's happening as we are going. All right, Sam, so I'm going to go ahead and start, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put this right here. Ooh. Locking down that spot there. And then you go ahead and play one. I'm going to go here. All right, I'm going to go and add another one. I want to put this one uh, here, then. Ooh. What are you going to do? I think I'll go there. Okay. And I'm going to go there, then. Now, anytime one of us wants to, we can call a scoring, as long as, again, the line or the column has at least two people on it. All right. I'm going to score. I'm going to call this line here. Yep. The way this works is whoever is closest to the ship is going to unload first and they're going to unload from the back of the ship is how that works so the closest being this one takes the far tile that goes to them and the next one takes the next tile so that's going to go to them in this case there were not three people there so the last one is discarded and we will load three new tiles onto that ship these two are removed from the board and put back in my supply and now the two tiles I did take, I'll assign to different locations on the board. So this tile here goes into the temple at the end of the game for every one of those sun symbols, I'm gonna get a victory point, very simple. And this is the obelisk, I'm gonna put that right there. And at the end of the game, each one's worth one point. But if, we, if I have the most, I'm gonna get a bonus six. And if Sam has the most, he'll get that bonus six points. So our ship is reloaded. As you can see out here, you're starting to see now a few of these uh, temple tiles, some obelisk tiles, but there's also pyramids of two different kinds. There are these out here for the tombs and even action tiles, these in blue that have an action pre-printed on them. That could also be your turn if you already have one. Uh, okay, that was my go, Sam. What are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh. <clears throat> I see. Well, I'm gonna go there then. All right, I'll trigger this, <clears throat> okay. this line here. So uh, I'm gonna take all three of these and these three guys come away. All right. And these both get stacked up down here on the temple, yeah? Mm-hmm. And then this obelisk comes over here. There it is. <clears throat> all right, that's me. I am going to Add one there, and that's my turn. Okay. I see. By the way, when someone calls a line to score it, they don't need to be in that line necessarily. There just has to be at least two characters there. We'll go there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and place there. Okay, and I will. 
trigger this one. Okay. So I'm the closest, so I unload the one in the back. And then I unload this. That's right. The last one will be discarded. Our characters come back, the ones that were just scored, and we replenish with three new tiles from the supply. Like so. So I got a pyramid tile here. I'm going to put it at the base of my pyramid, and I'll start on that. There will be a line of three tiles across the bottom, two above that, one at the very top in the shape of a pyramid, and at the end of the game, both pyramids will score, and the score will be based on the number of tokens in each. So let's say I build it up completely, that's six tiles, 21 points, but if I only build the base, that'll be three tiles, that's worth six victory points. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're all done, so I'm going to... Hmm... What do I want to do here? I want to go there. I'll go there. I'm going to go ahead and score this line here. Okay. That means I get the farthest and the second one. Mm -hmm. These people come off. This is discarded. And I have one tile for the same pyramid and one tile beginning the other pyramid. Now Sam's got over here already one of these tomb tiles, and you just put it in the matching number, they wrap around from 1 to 12. At mm -hmm. the end of the game, you'll score each, ma each group that is a contiguous group of tiles. So for him right now, if he had the 8 and the 6, that's a run of 3 tiles, that would be 9 points. If he can add one more to that, be it the 9 or the 5, then that becomes 16 points and so on. So you definitely want to get a, a run there, a group. Right. I'm going to place right there. <clears throat> I'm going to score this one. Okay. And I'm going to get that. And you're going to get that. Okay. And that's discarded. There you are. Load that ship again. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. <clears throat> We're gonna keep doing this until those tiles are gone and then the end game will change a little bit until the supply is gone. I'm gonna score this one right here. Okay. So this and this. Um, mine. All right. Both of these come off. And then I'll discard that. So you've now got the seven and the eight in the tomb. Mm -hmm. Got a run going there. That's me. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll go ahead and score this one then. That gets you the back. I get the other two obelisk and I've got the three in my tomb now and we'll replenish these so now now Sam has one of those blue action tiles uh, which is what is it place two to three meeples yes so that could be your turn you could cash that in and place two or three meeples if you never use it during the game it'll be a single victory point at the end of the game but it's a special turn that he could take I'm gonna go ahead and take it all right Place two to three. I'm gonna go one here. Um, <coughs> and one here. And that's all I'll do. Okay. 
I don't know if not placing that third is a good decision or not, but I th I'm going to go with it. Okay, you're going to go with that. Um, I am going to go there. All right, I'm going to fire this one. All right. Which gets me these two, and that one goes away. So now you've got a pretty good run there. Yeah, it's a big that. target. Though. There's a six for you, a five for you, a two. Oh, man. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I I want to place myself there. Yeah. I like that two at least. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'll place her. Cool, I'm going to score it. Yeah, I thought you would. I have to, because right. otherwise uh, he'll get the six. Yeah. And so I'll get the two. That's not so bad for me. And this way, even though there is an empty space here, you just go through the folks and from the back of the ship to the front. This is the second person in the line, even though it's at the far end. He gets the second tile. Yep. Meaning the first tile is sometimes hard to get. And now that it's out, I know the six is gone. So... That's one way to break that chain. All right, you are up. Pool is starting to dwindle. Take, we'll fire this. All right. And I will take this one. Oh, yes. I got it. It has to go away. Okay. I am going to go there. Oof. two guys have worked okay I'm gonna go ahead and trigger this line here so I get this one and I get this one this is gone these two come off and I'm going to use this okay take we that. just take one token does that refill from here, I believe. Okay. That's pretty sure. Double check on that later on if I need to. But I believe so. Huh. What do I want to do? It's 
getting tricky now. I want to go there. I am going to... I'm going to go ahead and use my tile here, my special power that says swap two tokens and unload. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap this token here with this token here. You dirty rat. And then I'm going to unload that line so I get this one and this one. And these two are done. Get rid of that. And those are the last three tiles. So from here on out, whenever a ship is emptied, it'll be a little bit different. Once it's empty, it leaves harbor and we'll simply get rid of that, that ship. And then as they start to dwindle, the game will wind down until we have a single ship left. That one's not taken, that triggers the end of the game. And then we'll add up our scores and see who the winner is. That's all there is to it. I don't know if I like that. You're gonna like it. I'm gonna go ahead and unload this ship. Fine. And so I get this one, you get that one, and this ship is now gone completely. Kaput. The All Statue right. of Liberty is kaput. You are up. Doing it again? Mm hmm. I don't like it. Uh huh. I'm gonna go there then. Fire this. Mm hmm. Okay, that's me. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna do something like that, maybe, or maybe like that. Ooh. Um. I don't understand this card. Oh, this token is place one meeple and unload one to two times? Yes. Is that from anywhere on the boat? Or no, like following unload the same is, rules? Yeah, unload is take the action to unload. Got it. So both lets you play and unload right now. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do that. Anything but that. Hey, but I do. Okay. Place there and unload there. But I wanted those three points. No, sir. All right. And I get this one. Three points are gone. And this is gone as well. You get that back. I get this back. Very well. That's me. I am going to use this one. <laughs> which says I can place two to three meeples. One. Two, three. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. Mm -mm. Have no fear. Mm. Mm -mm. This is what we call being in a, in a quandary. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Very well. I will unload here, giving me all three of these. Mm -hmm. I will remove them and add this where it goes. Chase. This there. Chase. Okay. Right. On my turn, I'm going to use this. Take one token, it says. I will take 
you should take the 12. The 12, you think? That yeah. is a good idea. I'm going to take that one, though, <laughs> and replace it with that one. What do you got? I will... I don't even look at that fantastic chain. You've here. got the 7 through the 11. There you go. And then I get these. And that is the game. Because we're down to a single ship. The last one, like I said, is never unloaded. And now we're going to go ahead and score. So, oh. again, I'll okay. talk through some of these just for the sake of clarity. Mm -hmm. I have my obelisk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mine is taller than that one, so a bonus six points. for 12 points. Then, over here, this pyramid has four. That's 10 points. 22. That's uh, 22. This one has only two tiles. That's 25. three points. 25. 29. There's four. 30. 34. And then a run of three here. I am at 34, 43, because that's nine points. So my final score is 43. Again, if I had any of these blue tiles left, there would be a point apiece, but I don't. 43. All right, so uh, I have these guys here, which gives me 25 points, Oof. plus these, which is four, so that's 29, 29. for my tombs. 29 for my tombs, uh, 30, 31, mm -hmm. and then two here, that's 34, mm -hmm. and then these, which is 34, uh, 38, 39, 40, 48, 49. 49. Did I already count these? Yes. Yeah, so 49. And I had 43. Okay. So there you go. So this was heavy. That is a lot of points. I That's mean, 25 heavy. points. Getting the chain going is, yeah. is very strong. So 43 to 49. Sam was victorious, but... There is a little more I want to go ahead and show you. Yeah. And that is the backs of these tiles have a side B, an alternate way to score. So right. let's take a look at them. Um, the obelisk, side A, you've just seen. The side B says whoever is the first person to have five tiles is going to get 12 points. And the way you do that, you just, you know, you place them there. And if you are the very first person, you get your three, you get your four. When you get to your fifth one, you flip it over like so. Just to be like, aha, I made it, and I know I'm going to get the 12 points. Mm. If you're the second person to make it, if you make it, you get six points. Yeah. So that's the obelisk, and, uh, you know, it just mixes it up a little bit. You've got your pyramids. It's very similar on the other side. The main difference being, instead of scoring both pyramids on the B side, you score only the smallest one. So you really want to balance these out and make sure that they're both going up at about the same rate. And there's even a negative score if you don't get them going. So if you don't add anything to them, that's a negative six points. You know, you want to have at least one in each that at the very least you break even with that. Yeah. But again, you only score your smallest one. The temple on the other side, instead of simply scoring these as victory points, you are going to collect the different kinds and so you would have the ones would go there and the fours would go there and so on. This wouldn't particularly be very good for me because it's a repeat. And what you're scoring is different ones. Though this would start a new set. So I'd have a set of two for four points and a new set of just one for a single point. So you, this is set collection, you want different kinds. And then lastly, the tomb over here, instead of wanting one really big group, ideally the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. On the back, what you want to do is you, you're scoring every group is worth four points, no matter the size of the group. So what you actually want you don't would want be the ten. four, and then you want the six, and then, you know, you want to leave gaps, basically, mm -hmm. like this. Because that means I'm scoring four individual groups, which is 16 points. Yeah. Whereas if you end up with the 10... I just dropped your score by four points. Yep. Because that's one group, one group, and one group for uh, yep, 12. 12 points instead of 16. And that's it. That's the game. Very simple game for two players. Yeah, kind of takes the, the spirit of the original Immotep game. 
wraps a, a sort of a neat little uh, tile grabbing mechanism around it and gives you to you in a, I think, a shorter time frame, a, definitely a smaller footprint. Right. And, uh, but I do think it kind of retains the, the flavor and the feel of the original game. Yeah, it's cool. So there you go, everybody. That is Imhotep The Duel, again, brought to you by Thames and Cosmos. This should be available shortly. Definitely look for it if you are in the market for a neat two-player uh, tile drafting game. Yep. And that's going to be it for us. Thanks that's for cool. checking this out. I'm Z Garcia. Sam Healy. And you've been watching The Dice Tower. Have a great day. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.